They don't love it. Day five. But they're self-sufficient. Starting out a cool mayor. Yeah. Up the road. Yeah. And then we get home and we're so healthy. And we're going to be going uphill. Because they've been alone too long. For a long time. 3,500 feet, I think. And then it levels out at the top. Oh, hopefully we'll make it to the refugio that's two-thirds out the mountain so we can have a lunch. The breakfast is really good at the hotel. And Komayo is really cute. Coming out of the town. Up, 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 up. Today's an update. What's up, dog? Salve. Don't be a hero. No hero. <laughs> She love uphill. <laughs> What's a gay horse say? Hey, girl. Hey, queen. Hey, queen. Let's keep going up <laughs> and up. At least it's a soft trail, and it's in the shade. Yeah. Uh, greyhound down there. See it loping along? Yeah. <laughs> that tongue is so long right now. That cute black and white one. We came around the corner and standing on a rock and it was looking at us like this with its tongue hanging out. It's so cute. They're adorable. They really are. Yes. Yes. I'm so smart about it now. I thought. I know, a little breeze. That is quite the lookout right there. Fall off the edge. Uh, be careful, babe. Yeah, it looks like a cliff. <laughs> so crazy as we get higher, I swear my pack feels so much heavier. There's the ski lift over there from yesterday. Probably Mont Blanc. And now for an early lunch. Early lunch, yes. That was a big old slog uphill, but it was covered in uh, trees and pretty soft trail. Be careful, though. Yeah. You did? I my leg for a while there. I'm like, what is that? Is it a biting fly? Yes, it is. Ah! One's on me in town, too. Ah! Those are bad. Let's rejoin it when we get to food. Okay, baby, where are we? Where would we make it? Uh, did we? <laughs> Refugio Bertone. That looks nice. 
Let's go get a table on the edge. We should leave our bags here though, I think. Okay. We don't have to carry them extra. Yeah, a nice little lunch spot. So, Little gas power to go up the hill. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Oop. So pretty, these wildflowers. Loves a rambling path. It's amazing. Hello. 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 Oh, weird. Following the donkey. That's cool. Hey. Yeah, I see the glacier? Yeah, is that where it walked over? We were on the other side of the valley from that glacier. Our uh, refugio was like on the back side of that glacier where we had the um, lake. Uh, look crazy. Good? Oh, 
Jeez, I'm up. We made it. A very last descent. And um, it's a, it's called Starboro. It's in a green bottle. It has like a green label with like a starfish. Wait, what's it called? Starboro. Starboro. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, I really love it. But, um, it's my drink. And here we go. She's poking her head out. Good job, Mont Blanc. And all the cows on our last day, just walking back to the car. Such a good trip. I would do this again for sure. And we're gonna go down about one hour to where we pre staged the car in Lavache. Valfare. All right, folks, that is the fifth of five videos in our gondola friendly Tour de Mont Blanc friends hike. Highly, highly recommend this for anyone who wants something off the beaten path and a true vacation that lets you immerse into the senses. Go to cravetheplanet.com for more information on how to book your own trip. There's people who can even help you out with it. Thanks for watching.